Many New South Wales towns owe their existence to gold discovery, including this one, Grenville. These days it's pretty tree-lined streets, quiet cafes and shady verandas. A far cry from the 1800s gold rush era, gone is the chaotic tangle of people seeking fortune. It was into scenes like these that one of Australia's greatest poets was born. Henry Lawson was born in 1867 at a spot down this street. That place is marked with a memorial erected after Lawson died in 1924. That's almost 100 years ago now. Beside the obelisk is a huge sugar gum, planted by the poet's daughter Bertha to mark his passing. Lawson's family left Grenfell by the time he was three, but he did not forget his birthplace. He wrote a poem about it in 1911. Said Grenfell to my spirit, you've been writing very free of the charms of other places, and you don't remember me. You have claimed another native place and think it's nature's law, since you never paid a visit to a town you never saw. So you sing of mudgy mountains, willowed stream and grassy flat, but I put a charm upon you, and you won't get over that. Oh, said Grenfell to my spirit, though you write of breezy peaks, golden gullies, wattle sidings, and the pools in she-oak creeks, of the place your kin were born in, and the childhood that you knew, and your father's distant Norway, though it has some claim on you, though you sing of dear old Mudgy and the home on Pipe Clay Flat, you were born on Grenfell Goldfield and you can't get over that.